My project today is totally inspired by my sister Eco Heidi. Did you see the awesome boots that she designed for the I Love to Create booth at the Winter CHA show? I love these. Now these boots are decoupaged with paper that she hand painted. So for my project today, I'm using the same technique. I have some papers here. Come on in and take a look. I have some of her hand colored tissue paper. I love to use tissue paper for this technique because of the fact that it's really lightweight. It means that it'll wrap around those rounded corners on your boots or your shoes. I picked up these sandals at the local thrift shop and they look brand new, but this is what's so cool about this technique. Perhaps you don't like that these are so plain and you want to transform them with any color of colored tissue. Keep in mind that when you paint your tissue and there's any places like this where you see white, you are going to see the color through that tissue paper. So it actually helps to coordinate it whatever color paper that you use with the shoes. I am also using the Aline's Collage Podge. You can find it in matte and gloss. So whichever finish that you prefer is what you want to select. So the first thing that you want to do is measure those shoes and decide what size strips that you want if you want to put an entire piece down or you can tear this into pieces. I need to tell you this technique of tearing into smaller pieces is much, much easier to apply but I'm going to show you the little bit more difficult technique today, but you can cut, tear those pieces right down and do a collage. So I have one of my shoes started here and I did the bottom piece first. So let's go ahead and get started with the top. So I have my collage page that I'm going to put, brush it right on to my sandal. And I've already measured the width of this for this strip. so. What you want to be careful of when doing this technique is if you're wrapping your tissue around to the underside of these straps, make sure that, there's no wrink that there are no wrinkles because you don't want it to irritate your foot at all and rub. So you're going to brush that onto the entire surface here. And I like to use a soft brush. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Apply this to the back of my strip. So this is the unpainted side here. The key to this is to make sure that you have your collage page all the way up to the edge of your tissue paper and you're going to then lay it onto your shoe and I'll come back and I'll cut that end. Be careful because it is tissue and it can tear easily. So you see that I just applied the collage page to half of this first so that I can have a little bit more control without it sticking where I don't want it. Then I'll come back in and finish it off. Apply your coat of collage page right over the top. Isn't this a fun transformation? I love, love, love this pink. Transforming these plain beige sandals with the pink. So this is really all there is to transforming your shoes or your boots, whatever your shoe is that you want to create a new look with the collage. If there's any spot where you don't cover, just cut or tear a piece and you can just layer it right over. So there's a couple of different ways when it comes time for cutting off the edges or the ends. You can let this sit until it dries a little bit or you can come right in and just cut. I also like to take my hands, dip it into collage page and help smooth it down. Sometimes you'll see that it starts to wrinkle a little bit. Be generous with that collage page, just rub it down and smooth it. Isn't that cool? We're gonna cut off the other end here and basically we are done with this one and we'll repeat the same thing on the other shoe, if the shoe fits. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft.